YouTubers. Uh, Eric coming at you with another beer review. Today I'm looking at something um, kind of unique that I have not seen uh, done yet. And it is a, mer or a collaboration between a brewery and a company that features a local band in various cities across America. Um, it's called Tuned Beer. You can check them out at tunedbeer.com and all the things they've done. Uh, well, they decided to feature a local artist by the name of The Reckless Ones in Minneapolis. I'll leave the link in the description below. They're pretty cool. Uh, and then pair with Liftbridge Brewing Company, who I have a lot of respect for. And I think they're pretty awesome. They have some ties to Firestone Walker. I'll let you figure that out later, um, as I don't know the entire story, but awesome stuff. So what they did is they brewed an American brown ale. Um, they put their own spin on it, so it's a hoppy American brown ale. It's called the Tuned American Brown, and it clocks in at 6.5%. Not sure on the IBUs, but one cool thing about it is it's sealed with this industrial wax, DJ. Uh, and on the top of the cap, I've opened it just for sake of pouring and ease, they leave you a code that you can go to this website and redeem for a free song. Kind of cool if you want to discover new music and discover new beer and a new brewery at the same time. So um, I listened to them. I think they're unique. And uh, we'll see how the beer is. The beer was uh, $5.99, so can't really beat that for the price. Let's get into it and see how it is. So the pour, pour is exactly like you would expect for an American brown ale. Almost uh, opaque, but it, to the light, there's some ruby red amber hues. Got a nice fat finger head here. Looks really nice. Uh, let's get our nose into it. <sighs> yeah, hoppy it is, man. This is, wow. Very, very hoppy. Lots of astringent hop character. Um, big astringent bitterness. There's a lot of roasted uh, malt character here. Toasted might be the better word, almost like a biscuity malt. Overall, nice smelling beer, uh, good looking beer. I'm gonna taste it, I've never had this one. Cheers. I should make a note here for y'all that I'm not a huge brown ale guy. I, I, I guess I find them kind of boring and uh, generally just fall short from what I'm really looking to get into. So let's, let's delve into this one a bit further. I mean, I get a lot of that um, astringent, bittery, hop character, almost overwhelming bitterness right at the front of the tongue. There's a little bit of toasted, roasted, malt uh, character coming through after the bitterness, followed by a nice subtle sweetness, almost caramel, but not cloyingly sweet. I'm seeing if it says anything. Hmm. I don't know. There's 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 not a lot to it other than the hop character. It, it is good. But I have to say that I think this beer is more about the featuring of a brewery that is up and coming and featuring the music rather than the actual beer itself. It falls a little short. Uh, it might be me because I'm just not a big brown ale guy. Um, I just get a lot of hoppy bitterness, which is good. Don't get me wrong. It kind of reminds me of a uh, dogfish head Indian brown ale, if you've had that. Um, I haven't had it in years. It's not nearly as complex. There isn't the raisiny character, and you know, it just it. One more chance, and then we'll decide on rating. I'm searching for something here. I'm just not sure what it is. But uh, 
It's well crafted. I think I have to go an 80 out of 100 on it. Um, I really, 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 really dig the concept between um, the two companies. And I would love to see in the future what tuned beer can do across America. So maybe you can discover, or it helps us beer drinkers pair beer with music and discover new beer and new music at the same time. I think that concept is uh, just a no-brainer. So I'm going to leave it at an 80 out of 100. It's not a uh, world-class brown ale by any means. Uh, it is a well-crafted brown ale, but it's just not for me. So I, I, I doubt the availability um, seeps outside of Minnesota on the Liftbridge variant, but I'd be curious to see if... Um, Anywhere you guys buy your bottles, if there is a similar collaboration done between one of your local breweries and a local band. So thanks for stopping by, to guy, and, er, stopping by guys today and checking this review out in this beer. I'm really curious to see if this has been done anywhere else. I haven't taken the time to redeem my code, nor have I taken the time to uh, really listen to uh, a lot of music from the Reckless Ones, but from what I have heard, I did like it. So we'll see you again in another beer review. Always remember to respect beer. Cheers.